Hey everybody, how's it going? Adapa11 here with another Empire Toy Works custom handcrafted diorama playset for Star Wars, G.I. Joe, or Acid Rain, or any other 3 and 3 quarter inch or 4 inch action figure. This is wonderful work here. Now this is a piece I picked up earlier this year. This is from 2017. The last piece that I reviewed, the last three piece set that's somewhat similar to this that I reviewed, was from 2016 so if you wanted to take a look or compare the two you're more than welcome to take a look at that review that I posted earlier maybe last week so as you can see here other than the three pieces we have some goodies we have a generator and some other storage units that we get to add on to our diorama so let's go ahead and take a look at what he casted here now right here it looks like we have a generator now it's got some nice different paint tones to it. It has great detail. You can see the crevices and the nice detail and whatnot. Different paint tones. If you have uh, something going on in Tantooine or whatever and you just need a quick power surge, a power supply of some sort, there you go. Pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at this one. Oops. There we go. See, we got some nice detail there. Nice and dirty, some gears. Pretty cool. I really like this. The small things really can add a lot to a diorama. All right, let's go on to this. And I like how this has the locking mechanisms. This reminds me of something that we'd see in Knights of the Old Republic. When you start going through the room of your enemy that you just defeated and you go through the lock boxes and whatnot and you find your your gear and whatnot so I like that and the last piece all right we recognize that design do we not I like that dirt in between the crevices I just I like this a lot I'm glad that this came with this otherwise he does sell these pieces uh, usually in packs. I don't know, usually like five to six pieces or something like that. But uh, sometimes they'll sell these and include them in with the diorama buildings like, like we have right here in front of us. Come on, focus. What's wrong? There we go. All right, now you see the top part. Now that does come off. Let's move this stuff to the side. Now you see here, if you wanted to take this off, you have yourself a separate generator. Pretty cool. Another option that you could have is you just simply put it down like this. And of course you see it looks awkward with the door, but you can always turn it around. And you put your, uh, you land your ship on there. And I don't have one within arm's reach uh, that could uh, land on there. Oh, bummer. So, uh, gosh, I had uh, Destro's despoiler just like right over within hands grip or reach uh, not too long ago, but it's gone, but you get the idea. Just park your vehicle right on there. Take a look at this. If you don't, just have yourself another building. The other bonus about this is it also creates a light for the inside. So if you're taking a diorama picture and you have light in there, it's gonna make whatever you photograph in there come out a little bit more. So let's take a look. There are no stickers or anything on uh, the back or side of this one. On the back of the other one that I have is, uh, I'll just show you, oops, it has this. So this one's just a little different. Now let's take a look what we have down here. As you can see here, we have some nice detail. So if you're going shopping, if your character's going shopping, and he's going to have uh, some green olives to choose from or whatever mechanisms those could be used for on your ship or whatever. And then you have your gears also in there. That's really cool. I like that. And you could have your merchant just peeking through right here. You could always set your table in there and of course if you go to Empire Toy Works you could always buy his uh, merchant table and uh, 
I guess what would be a cash register, which ironically, there's a cash register on the side here that's being used as a, uh, well, a computer port of some, some sort. So that's pretty cool. No, no uh, stickers on the back. I kind of like that too because, you know, I, it's like with this that I have right here, the other one, I'm going to go ahead and bring it here in. It's completely sci fi, as you can tell. It would be science fiction related and this specifically Star Wars. But when you get the other buildings that he creates, then you don't have to worry about uh, hiding anything that's specifically for one genre like G.I. Joe, Star Wars, Acid Rain. So a play set like this one could be used for any three of those or any other action figure for this scale. So it's really cool that you don't have to hide anything because there's nothing indicating it's just for one uh, one line of toys. On the bottom here, you have uh, some nice little pads, maker's mark, it's all wood, just completely solid. And uh, of course, put it back like this, you have yourself a little bit of a community, just a nice little uh, neighborhood right there, or at least uh, two. And of course, if you had the other set up like I have here, you just have a mixture of things. <laughs> you could see where if you got two of these, then you have yourself a nice little uh, community going. Well, I guess I, you don't, I mean, you could watch my other video. I'd appreciate it, especially with a like, but I suppose you could do your comparison here. I had it just right here, so I thought, what the heck, I'll just go ahead and throw it on there so you can take a look at what two purchases from um, from Empire Toy Works could do for your diorama, a Tantooine set or whatever. Uh, you get a lot out of very little. Now, of course, it also depends on if you're in a bid war or if you're going to buy it for whatever it's set at, I typically go in and, and try to just win a bid war. Well, I guess that's it. I'm going to go ahead and leave it to you to just go ahead and pause the diorama pictures at the, bid, uh, at the beginning and you can go ahead and just take a look at the different details and whatnot. I just wanted to go ahead and get this uh, out to you and let you know that if you're building up your diorama or desert scene this is a good place to go check it out and pick it up so there you have it the empire toy works three-story or three-piece building right there in comparison with the first one i did so i haven't picked one up in a few months so i think it might be time at least before christmas so one more piece and i should be good to go for a few more months and i guess that's it well, hope you enjoyed. If this uh, helps you making a decision on who to go to to add on to your diorama stuff, I'm, I'm happy to have helped make that bridge. So I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for a thumbs up. That would be great. And until next time, take care and may the force be with you. Perfect timing because there goes my boy. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.